in the top five, and this time I'm going to be talking about the best masks in Hotline Miami. As you may know, I've been doing a Let's Play series of the game, and I've been playing a lot of it off camera as well, just trying to get high scores, more guns, and whatever else. So I figured that this list is actually pretty well founded because I've spent enough time getting shot by people to know what masks are actually the best. Um, in the game itself, every single mask except for one corresponds with a different power that you get equipped with when you put it on. And all of them are useful in different ways except for a few of them which are there purely because the designers thought, eh, it'll be funny. Um, so here's my top five. Graham's mask is incredibly useful for when you want to move around faster enemies because it makes Jacket move faster. And this is an absolute godsend. I cannot tell you how useful Graham is when you're stuck in a situation that requires you to move out of the way and the normally slow Jacket is then able to just zoom past them. Um, as powers go, it's useful, but it's not the most useful, hence why it's not higher up the list. However, beneficial terms for moving quicker, it is one of the best masks. Tony, as a mask, is arguably the most brutal mask in the entire game, as it makes your fists able to kill enemies in a single hit, and it makes all executions faster. Now, I'm sure I don't have to explain to you just how useful that is in Hotline Miami when floor executions take about five seconds to actually perform. You just walk up to them and kick them in the shins and they're dead instantly. But running into a room and punching everything to death is incredibly satisfying when you've been dying a lot. Being a unicorn is absolutely fabulous, and Peter proves this because he's the only character in the game that makes every single gunshot you fire completely silent. And that's just absolutely incredible, because when you've got an en a room full of enemies, and you've got a weapon that's big, loud, and you want to kill a lot of people all at once, then Peter is the mask to use, simply because you can probably get away with headshotting them all without alerting everybody at the same time. And since Hotline Miami is based on the mechanics where if you take out one person at once, it's far, far more simple to use Peter when you've got him unlocked and then use a heavy weapon to just obliterate an entire room, but quietly. Dennis is the literal meaning of the Insanity Wolf meme, and I cannot stress this enough because when you stick on his mask, you come armed with a knife at the start of every single level and you can kill everything in seconds as long as you get the timing right and you keep swinging away and you will because the knife has very little cooldown time between its swings you can kill entire levels of enemies if you're quick enough, fast enough and brave enough in seconds and it is phenomenal just how quickly you can clear rooms despite the fact that this mask is incredibly close to Tony uh, it's more useful in the sense of The best ability mask in Hotline Miami is, without a doubt, Jake. Picked up in Hot and Heavy, chapter number 10. Um, this mask makes every single throw you make as Jacket kill. Now, it's incredibly overpowered, is this mask. Simply because, if you if you bounce something off a wall and it's still being thrown, it will still kill that enemy. And, to boot, it can also pass through multiple enemies and kill multiple attackers. You can kill people from a distance, and it's the fact that you're literally throwing maybe a stick at somebody, and their head explodes in a shower of blood and a viscera. But, this has been my top five uh, Hotline Miami masks. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.